Hello friends, today we will learn about cross stitch. Here are all these topics, column spacing, row spacing, repeat count, fit to grid, boundary point, and the last option is linear motif. Now let's draw an object. Here is the button of cross stitch. By clicking on it, a cross stitch will be applied to the object. After that there are two options in the cross stitch property. Column spacing and row spacing. Now we apply three in column spacing. The columns in the object mean that the width of each box will be 3 mm. The height means row is only 2.5 mm. If we want to increase the height of the row, then we will apply 3 in row spacing. Then the box will be as big as 1. Now we see the second option repeat count. This object will be made in a single stitch. Means once the stitch will go from here, from here like this. Then the object will come back once in every stitch. Now we will use the repeat count like we used to do in line fill and sateen fill. For example this leaf of 236 stitch. Here we apply repeat count 3. Then this object becomes 391 stitch. When we run the machine on it, then 3 stitches will run like this, then the line will run. After that the option comes, fit to grid. Now fit to grid what does it work? This is the boundary of the object we draw. The fill is not fitting in the boundary, it is coming out. If you want the fill under the boundary or drawing line, then we will use the fit to grid. There is an option of fit to grid here, we will turn it on. Whatever stitches were coming out of the drawing line will be removed. Then comes the option of boundary points, here are the boundary points. By turning on this option, it will look something like this. Now we turn off the fit to grid. In the object we have drawn, this option will cross apply only on the drawing line. So this was the work of boundary points, after that comes the linear motif. Let's see what this work does. From here we close the boundary points. So here stitch is visible everywhere. If we turn on linear motif, then it will become like a square. It will look like this, meaning here there will be no stitch in between each square. We'll come here and here will be removed from here. If we want to take any motif here, for example, we have to take the motif of back stitch. The back stitch is not applied here. For this, we have to turn on the linear motif, it has come. Then, if we want the other side too, then we can take it from here. So this was cross stitch. 